three, two, three, four, five. Apart from the 5,000 ton rocket, there was a lot riding on this launch. Would it be third time lucky trying to get Starship, the largest object ever to fly, into orbit? Liftoff was flawless, and with camera technology advancing as fast as rockets, broadcast live in HD. Starship separated from its super heavy booster exactly as planned. A milestone as this is where things came explosively unstuck during a test last November. The booster, a reusable design, was supposed to slow to a hover above the Gulf of Mexico, but some of its engines failed and it crashed to the sea. We're getting a few, a few engines. But by then, Starship was cruising in orbit. Cameras on board captured key tests like a payload slot opening and closing. Then came the ultimate goal. Oh man, we can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Using Starship's four movable fins to orientate its 18,000 heatproof tiles towards Earth for re-entry. But the unprecedented images of the deorbiting spacecraft were to be its last. Signal was lost, the spacecraft probably disintegrating over the Indian Ocean. This is not a failure by any means. For me, if you learn from tests, then it's a success. You, we will find out how much was learned, for sure. But from what I saw, there were lots of milestones hit there. Starship is the only spacecraft big enough to carry people to the moon and beyond. Many question Elon Musk's interplanetary ambitions, even the business case for projects like Starship. But last year, his company launched more payloads into space than any other company or country combined. Some proof of Musk's motto, if you're not failing, you're not innovating enough. Tom Clark, Sky News.